Two weeks before Christmas, the Salvation Army says it is suspending part of its San Diego ministry. The group's leaders believe that buyers and pricey high-rises and the growing business district downtown want the people that the Salvation Army helps to disappear. Lynn Stewart is here with more. Marty, Salvation Army leaders say they fed the needy in downtown San Diego for decades. After tonight, those looking for a hot dinner will have to go somewhere else. Below newly developed high-rise condos and in a growing business district, the Salvation Army feeds the souls great delight. and stomachs of San Diegans struggling to make ends meet. People are going to go hungry. Now their ministry downtown is discontinuing the meals because the Salvation Army says it was notified by the Center City Development Corporation or CCDC that their conditional use permit could be revoked. They are pursuing a, a, a use that's not that's not a legal use. Low-income mother of three, Norma Estrada lives in a hotel room without a kitchen. It's going to be um, hard. CCDC says they've received multiple complaints. Locals concerned because they've seen a lot of people gathering outside of the Salvation Army building, increased trash on the ground, as well as people using the street as a public restroom and increased illegal drug use. The Salvation Army staff says they've served meals in downtown for years. What has changed is the area. Their location on 7th Street and E is a hub of new development. It is becoming a little bit more difficult because they are under more scrutiny. There are a lot more eyes downtown. CCDC says it has no choice but to respond to complaints and hold the Salvation Army to the letter of the law. The high rises have gone up, the businesses are doing well, the low income still exist, and there needs to be a safety net for them. The Salvation Army says it hopes to work with CCDC to find a way to resume serving evening meals as part of their downtown ministry soon. Marty, Susan. Thank you, Lynn.